a vehicle that frankly has no visible means of support, the hovercraft. Ten years ago, a scene like this would have been explained away as trick photography. There's a trick, sure enough, but our cameraman is blameless. The secret ingredient here is air. Ever since the air cushion craft was removed from the official secrets list in 1958, the backroom boffins have been going great guns, getting even newer versions of it off the ground. The experts are wielding computer and slide rule in a rigorous study of the problem in miniature. In 1978, the River Rover Mark II was selected by the British Ministry of Defence for the Joint Services Expedition to Nepal. Sandbanks, rocks, vegetation, anything like that does not affect hovercraft operations at all. And actually the hovercraft just lap it up. It gives us huge flexibility because we can use nearly any beach that we want to. How does a hovercraft work? Well, seen here from the front is a Griffin 2000 TD hovercraft. Around the edge of the craft is a flexible curtain called a skirt which is hanging limply around the craft and onto the ground. In front of the engine is a centrifugal lift fan. When the engine begins to turn, the lift fan blows air underneath the craft where it is trapped inside the skirt. As the throttle is opened, the volume and pressure of air increase until the whole craft is lifted off the ground. The craft then reaches its maximum height above ground or water. This is called its obstacle clearance height or its cushion depth. Air now escapes under the edge of the skirt and the craft literally floats on air and is frictionless. When the driver engages the clutch or increases the propeller pitch, the craft moves forward on its cushion of air 